uh, I'd like to, uh, first of all, uh, thank the uh, parents. Uh, you are here today to discuss uh, some of the grievances or problems that uh, you're facing or your children are facing in the school. And uh, I know uh, Mr. Andrew Lau on my left and Madam Lisa Liu on my right uh, have been authorized by some parents and some of you attend personally some being authorized. Now, um, today i like to take time to hear your voices and we'll try to discuss like a brainstorm to see what we can do um, with the problem that you have been facing. Would somebody like to start talking and uh, telling me what to do then we discuss? I attended the PTA meeting on the 2nd of April and I presented my letter, some of the issues, some of our mothers like to discuss. The first issue, of course I mentioned the heavy school bag, but knowing that Chinese school always have a lot of books, so I said it's not so much of the heavy school bag, but it's so much of the parking that I'm talking about. because. Early in the last year and this year was different. This year, all of a sudden, they have blocked certain section of the parking lot. So our parents cannot go in to park. Therefore, we, I, we have to resort to sometimes drop our children off outside the school compound, you know, along the highway, Asia City, and we, because I cannot simply drop my children off and ask them to carry the school bag to the classroom because the, he the school bag is so heavy. Uh, there are two main issues I would like to go on. The other one uh, is regarding the toilets. The new building block, uh, uh, for example, just say using my daughter on the third floor. From 7 o'clock, she goes to school to 3.30. Definitely, a person has to go to the toilet minimum two to three times. And for girls worse, some of them have already started their menses, they probably have to go to the toilet more frequently. And each time, they have to walk from the third floor all the way down to the ground floor, all the way across the so-called the two canteen, a uh, big hall, at the end of the block, at the end of the canteen, and then all the way up. Why I raise this issue is because at both ends of the building, mm -hmm. every single block uh, got toilets. You mean every single floor? floor so every single floor got toilets. Mm -hmm. And I even have architectural uh, layout. layout. layout right? Now, I, I don't understand um, why the school failed to provide a parking space, a temporary parking mm -hmm. space in the new block, no, not the mm -hmm. new block building, mm -hmm. so that um, the teachers can have the assigned parking space but uh, uh, some space to be reserved for yeah. parents' uh, temporary parking space. I think that would be very helpful. To me, uh, the way I see it, it is a miscommunication or um, completely breakdown of communication or passing the message across to the management of the school that it is very important. Because parking by the roadside, the busy traffic of the road yes. going towards KK, can really pose danger to the to the, yes, the yes, cars, yes, you know, yes. like and yet you have no choice but to park there so that you can help get mm -hmm. your children's bag up. Okay, that brings me to another point. The point is the school bags are really too heavy. I try carry it one one day and yes. it's really too heavy. Do you know that in Trangano, uh, the state government provides uh, this uh, what you call? laptops because they are now inexpensive. They provide laptops to the students, primary school students, instead of spending money on buying textbooks. The state government provides laptops and the, the, these laptops can be updated. Like they go from primary one, primary two, they update it. So the students don't have to carry heavy bags. And I think the education department should really look into this. Instead of buying millions and millions of school textbooks, they should really make use the money, use the funds, convert into emulate what Triangano State Government is doing by the by the yeah. providing yeah. these uh, laptops. Yeah. Yeah. I think 
This is only my personal opinion. Again, there's a, a breakdown of communication because I think the management may not be aware that the students need to go to the toilet in a more convenient way. Perhaps they they overlook this step. As a human being, you need to go to is the it, toilet. Is it, uh, the other I think we will suggest to the management, school management, you can either do it alternatively. This floor completely was Teacher, this one from Boys, for students, and this one, uh, and this one, yeah. uh, or one side of it for two teachers, one side of no, it for teacher, two, two minutes. Our job here is uh, to request, mm -hmm. to request the school management to open up, to open up for the convenience of the mm -hmm. students because yes. your children are going to school, and I think between seven thirty to what time they finish? Seven ten. Seven ten to three. Three thirty. Three thirty. Uh, for the older one, three thirty. The little one. I think I, I, I do believe that they do need to go to the toilet minimum <laughs> once a day. No. <laughs> In other words, what you are saying mm -hmm. is that uh, you would like the schools to teachers to be more considerate to yes. the students mm -hmm. while they are away, their absence to to do their activities, their curr mm -hmm. curricular work. Mm -hmm that uh, whatever work that's left behind to mm. update him or give yes. him a chance to catch up. That's yes. what you're saying. Yes, yes. Um, I noticed in your memoir to mm. the principal, you also mentioned about one teacher, Madam Huang, on her, out of her own pocket, oh, yes. she bought a microphone, a microphone a yes. something like a speaker, yes. so that she can be heard easily in the class. Yes, yes. And I think uh, this, in this uh, matter, the PTA can do something about it. The PTA should be able to raise funds. Yeah. Yes. Raise yes. funds because yes. they are not very expensive. Yeah. Yes. 48 classes, each class with one, they can have a charity dinner or something. <laughs> raise funds. <laughs> and uh, I can only tell you what I can do. There are three things basically I can do. Okay. Number one is I would like. I would like to, uh, to pay a courtesy call or write to the Ministry Education Department mm -hmm. and um, put up my suggestion to evaluate uh, the other state tribunal that the uh, students should uh, there should be funds allocated to schools uh, to have laptops. We're talking about mm -hmm. white shirts. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. Enough. The students are over <coughs> overburdened with heavy school bags. That's number mm -hmm. one. I can do that. Okay. Number two, I will cc the letter to you. Number two is I will also <coughs> write a letter to the young uh, Prohomat Tato Imotai. Tell him my suggestion also mm -hmm. that to donate this for the eight house speakers. <laughs> number three, I will also write to your principal and says that. Uh, 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 giving what we have discussed and asked him to sort of uh, have a look at uh, <coughs> the, the issues. issues raised. <coughs> Number four, I will also write to the PTA chairman, mm -hmm. Tantum Premiership, that uh, to play the role well as a PTA chairman, you are actually a bridge yes. between the yes. students. Yes. And yes. And yes. PTA role is being played well and effective, mm -hmm. yeah. this kind of issue can be resolved. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate what the, what the Chinese school uh, management are always facing because mm -hmm. they're always overstretched with the space, you know, with mm -hmm. students and then mm -hmm. under uh, help, they're not being helped a lot yes. by the yes. uh, um, by the government. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. but we, we understand that, I understand that, but uh, uh, issues raised also uh, need to be brought to their attention. So it's not easy to be the principal mm -hmm. uh, of Chinese education mm -hmm. system. You know? Not easy. All the teachers, not easy. Either. Yes, yes. But uh, mm -hmm. parents uh, also must do their part in cooperating. Yes. 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 So that, yes. So that the uh, parents as well as the teachers and the school management and the PDN can always work as a team. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yes. At this point, uh, last before I close, I think I will register here. Um, mm -hmm. Would you agree? You, you, you will show a sign that uh, we, <coughs> we are here to discuss issues that in the hope of resolving them. Yes. yes. We are not here to uh, say some um, uh, complain about anything. Yeah. Mm. We are we registered. Yeah. Uh, we are here to register our appreciation mm. 
appreciation to the school principal. Uh, his position is not yes. an easy position. Mm. Uh, that's why maybe he's awarded a tattoo ship. I think he's the only tattoo in the whole of uh, <laughs> so far, you know, he must be uh, doing a good job to do that. And, and we appreciate his effort, and yes. uh, we also appreciate all the teachers in Tonga. Yes, yes. uh, they must not be easy to manage 2,000 students. Yes. However, there will always be room, and uh, this is uh, one of the things that um, I think the communication line will be distributed. This is where PDA should play the role. Um, with this one, I I think you have uh, raised this one. I already spoke up just now. Uh, you spoke up. I have uh, put up what my suggestion also. I shall be writing these four letters. Mm -hmm. And uh, whatever outcome, if there's any outcome, I will be letting you know. Yes. If there's yes. no outcome, yes. also I will let you know. Okay. And there's no outcome. Yes. Thank but you. at least we have done our part. Yes. Yes. Our part. yes. 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 Y